Hey guys, it's Mr. Burkatron yet again, and again, I will be bringing another boss battle for the moment. In the last video, I accidentally cut it short. I was supposed to ring the bell first, it's just to show people the um, first um, undead bell in the undead parish. Um, but pretty much, it is an unmissable trophy. You need to ring the bell in order to complete the storyline. So I figured it's not much of a big deal. Really? So, anyway, moving along. And with this boss fight, I'm currently resting at a bonfire in the, behind a fog wall here. This is a fog wall. It, when you first come here, it looks like a wall. Attack it, roll through it in this section here. There will be a bonfire behind it. Anyway, I will be versing the Moonlight Butterfly. I will be having assistance from Witch Patrice. Anyway, moving along. I now actually have equipped a Black Knight Sword. Very, it's a very useful and um, versatile weapon, I, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, so we're gonna move it along and we're gonna go kill the Moonlight Butterfly. And at the same time, I will show, I will give you guys, show you guys location for guys who don't, people who do not know. If you don't know, then I seriously, I think you have a problem. But the Divine Ember which is used obviously to create divine weapons to plus five which is useful for killing um, skeletons in the catacombs which do respawn uh, but, uh, and it's just effective against undead really in general it does though reduce scaling and it does make the weapon weaker compared to a plus five regular weapon or maybe not a plus five weapon but it is very useful for unlike skeletons when you verse Grave Lord Nito. A lot of skeletons that respawn there, a divine weapon takes care of them, no problem. So we are re we are currently summoning Witch Patrice, who will aid us in this fight. One of her two appearances in or three appearances if you count her where she is her skeleton with her armor and whatnot, where she died. Tragic. Alright, so we go upstairs here. Endless amount of stairs. Here we go. Fog wall. Alright. I'll wave to Witch Bird Trace and to the viewers. Don't know why. Just do it. Alright. Let us journey onwards. Hey there, Moonlight Butterfly. How's it going? I'm here to kill you. Oh god, 40. Hooray for Witch Patrice. Come land, pussy. Yeah, I'm doing damage. Ah, Esther's glass. And there we go. We have slain the moon, or Witch Patrice has slain the butterfly. We have received a soul of the moonlight butterfly. A humanity, and I'm pretty sure another. Yep, there we go. Ten thousand souls. All right, so continue along here. There will be yes, of course, more stairs. Hip hip hooray. The the soul of the moonlight butterfly can be used at the giant blacksmith in Anor Londo. I will show you obviously him his location when I reach him within my videos. I will not rush ahead, and or I might, but you basically. If, one of two weapons, a crystal ring shield. You need to have, require have a plus 10 shield, does not matter which type of shield. And then you ascend it with the boss soul, plus 5,000 souls, it will recreate the shield. It does not have a parry, but it does have a magical disc um, throw, in a sense, with the L2 button. And the second one is a spear, I'm pretty, yes, a spear, the moonlight spear or Moonlight Horn Spear, I'm, I don't, I'm not a spear person, but I'm, pos I'm next to, po well, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, called. So basically, yep, yeah, that's my video for the Moonlight Butterfly and the Divine Ember. Um, remember, like, subscribe, you know, appreciate it. it, it's just, I'm new to this sort of thing, and yeah, alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and yeah, well, praise the sun.